Greetings of peace to everyone, the faculty and staff, our speakers, and most especially my fellow graduates. I am hoping for your attentiveness and interest while I say my words. It is clear to myself that I am not a good speaker because I know I am not a perfect person who can do everything. I am still the real Leslie that everybody knows. I am still myself. This day is once again a memorable day for us graduating students. We have been together for numerous days and I am sure that we have earned so much memories in a very long period of time. I cannot imagine us parting ways and gaining new friends. I mean, a day without us being together is not a good day for me. I got used to being with you all day and every day. It is hard for me to go another day without you all. Time just flies so fast. June 15, 2015. Do you still remember? We were so excited waking up in the morning, excited to see our friends again, and excited to overcome challenges once more. Good job, Methians. All of us have come so far. I can still recall myself wondering when I was still in the pre-elementary level, specifically nursery, here in Montessori is the now. I asked myself, Bakit ako nandito? Ano ang gagawin ko? Nasaan na yung mga laruan ko? I bet some of you wondered too. But when I realized the purpose, purpose of going to school, I became more motivated and sang the alphabet song all day. I always wanted to go to school during those days. Kinder level, I have started competing with the students of the other schools. I was given an opportunity to showcase my reading skills not just in our school but also in another school. In fact, it was my first time representing our school. Luckily, I won. The jacket I needed because the venue's strong coldness was worth going home for. I would also like to mention, mention one crazy moment I had in kinder. I told my teacher that I do not like my baon. You know why? Because I have been eating the same baon for every year since. I mean for consecutive days, not the whole school year. She told me, you can go to the canteen if you want something different to eat. So I followed her, heading to the school canteen. I ate everything I want because I thought the foods were free. A few days later, my mother talked to me. She said that she was reminded by Kuya. Here's what my mother said. Two thousand? Hindi mo ba kinakain pinakapara sa'yo? Yeah, silly me. Because that, I became fat. Seriously. Preparatory. I did greater in different subjects. But of course, getting some grades with a line of eight is not easy to avoid though. Yet, I still studied hard and graduated. I finished pre-elementary, nursery to prep. I was a consistent first honor student. I was named the most outstanding people in our batch and addressed a memory speech for the first time, so obviously, I missed speaking in public. Then the time came for me to enter elementary. Everything got more. More achievements, more failures, more challenges, more memories, more friends, more teachers, and more schoolworks to do. More opportunities came. I joined clubs, frisbees, activities, and competitions, whether these are academic or non-academic. I have competed in different levels such as district, division, and regional. I also became the first youngest CSCB officer or the first grade one representative. Grades one and two, I was a representative. Grade four, I became the student council secretary. Grade six, I ran for the position of the president, but I lost. Yet it did not become hindrance in showing my leadership. I was assigned the position of the Secretary of Peace and Order. I have been through so many challenges and now I am proud to say that I am dispatched to the authority. It is an honor for me to speak in front of you and to carry this rank. However, those achievements are not easy to earn. Are you familiar with the line, Hindi dahil gusto mo makukuha mo? Yes, it means every, not everything you want will be given to you. Of course, you have to take challenges too. Be hardworking, disciplined, and have patience. Study hard and dream high. And here's to those who always do it. Expectations sometimes lead to disappointments. Not all our guesses are correct. So it's better to push for something that you want because nothing will happen if you will just rely on your expectations. Montessori is the now have seen me grow up, witness my good and bad times, and it was always there for me. It helped me since my day one here. Met enhanced my skills in different ways. I am grateful for you have believed in me 
and for the opportunities you have offered me. Academic or not academic, I can say that MET has taught me to improve and be better. That almost nine-year experience I had here is something that I had to treasure forever. First, I want to thank our Father for gathering all of us here today. Let us thank Him for who we have another, reached another milestone in our life, and for He made us realize that this is a stepping stone to our goals and more success. Let God be our inspiration in everything that we do, and never forget to seek guidance from Him. Thank Him for the strength and love He gives us every day. To mommy and daddy, thank you both for always being there for me and inspiring me. I dedicate my achievements to you. Thank you for giving me the best gift I have ever received, and that is education. I'm sorry for being stubborn sometimes and I find hard to deal with. Someday I will be making all our wishes come true. Pangako po masusuki ay lahat ng paghihirap niyo ba sa akin. I miss you both and I love you both. To my ate, struggling or not, thank you for helping with me my studies. Sooner, I will be joining you in your school already. I'm sorry if we argue sometimes, but remember, you're my best friend forever. To my relatives, to my Lola and Lola, especially to Tita Jenny and her family, thank you for treating me as a daughter and for motivating me always. Thank you for taking care of me when my parents work overseas for my future. What I have achieved right now is for you too. You are my inspiration. To my teachers, thank you for the knowledge. Sir Justine, thank you for te teaching me things we cannot understand, just like words with deep meanings that can be found in the dictionary. Sir Adele, thank you for giving me a chance to serve our school. You are part of my history. To Teacher Debbie, thank you for telling me that things need explanations to be understood. Sciences, think like a product and stay positive. Teacher Rose, thank you for helping us build our character physically, spiritually, mentally, and socially. To Teacher Irene, thank you for telling me that no matter how hard the problem is, there will always be a solution to it. Ito, hindi ito pwedeng makalimutan. Teacher Roa, thank you for being pernicious mother. Thank you for loving us although we are very noisy. Sorry for being hard-headed and pass away sometimes. We understand you will never scold us. It's just that you do not want us to grow up doing bad habits. We love you for that. Hindi nyo tinatolerate yung ganong actions because you want us to avoid the childish manner at gusto nyo po kaming magmature dahil manalaki na kami. I hope, as the president of our class, I made a change and taught them something good. I know that this isn't the last day we're gonna be together, pero sana naman po makabal po sa, kami sa inyo kahit papan. We are going to miss you. You will always be our mood rebels. We love you po. Teacher Helen, Teacher Cora, and Sir Tony, thank you po for the opportunities. I promise not to forget tracing back our beginnings and experiences from here. To Pearl, my classmates and friends, to my squad, canteen squad, and pagkain squad, Irish, Rian, Ila, Isa, and Kate, Errol, Kurt, Japet, Ronan, and Ryan, and to Autumn Party List, thank you for the memories and many years of friendship. To Pearl, I love you guys. Thank you for making me happy when I feel sad, at saka kapag naubos ng jokes ko. I will miss you all for the tears, memories, and laughter we have shared. Thanks to our retreat, I know each and every one of you more. To those who have inspired me and those who have been with me right from the beginning of my journey here, I will not forget you. Ante Tessin Kuyawagi, I will miss you po. To the school canteen, thank you for making me busog every day. Thank you everyone. Thank you all. Thank you Sir Don, Teacher Kel, Teacher MJ, my pre teachers and elementary teachers. Here's a little advice for me. Do what makes you happy and make sure it's worth your time. YOLO, live while we're young. And at a young age, let us learn to be considerate and responsible. Be that someone worth looking at and a great model in this world of never care about your personality. Do not let anyone drag you down. We can't please everyone and not all are going to admire you. That indeed is life. To you who are listening right now, you are truly wonderful. Always wear a smile. When you feel like giving up, I am just here. And like PNB, I am that somebody to lean on. And I'm only one call away. Remember that giving up is never the solution to a problem. 
Do what you have to do and finish with what is required to finish. Believe in yourself that you can do it. Stay inspired. This is it, my fellow graduates. I look forward to having another chapter with you all in my life. Good luck with your high school life. Thank you for the time you have saved for me. God bless us all and I am proud to be called the graduates. A million thanks to all of you. I love you all at hanggang sa muli.